to a girl diamond and today i'm going to talk about a condition that doesn't affect many women it only affects some women so this is a condition called endometriosis and i found out i had this in 2018 so everyone every female has this um symptom it's called pms which happens a week before your period and it's extremely painful but i realized not just to me but there's other women who have this i realized mine was more than painful like I've had times where I can't walk up the stairs, my thighs are hurting, my back is hurting, my lower back, my upper back, my breast, and I find it difficult to breathe. So I got scanned in a hospital and found out I have this thing called endometriosis, which is cyst in your ovaries. And if you don't have treatment or surgery, it could turn into fibroids, which means you're not able to have kids. So this condition affects your period, your menstruation, your PMS, your mood, and it also affects you when you have sex. So I found like having intercourse, uh, back in the day it was very very painful not only was it painful but during my period i'll have extreme pain that i'd have to call off work because i'm like i literally cannot walk that's how painful it is i'll be on the floor and paracetamol was not strong enough so after finding out this happened i then had a lie proxy in 2019 which was to remove the cyst and i spent two to three days in the hospital was put to sleep i still got the cuts under is in my lower pelvic it's in my lower pelvic area guys but i'm not going to show you that the grim detail but yeah i still have the the cuts and um after i had the surgery they put something called coil which is a metal plate in the vagina area which stops you from getting pregnant but also to calm the um pain down but i found that i was told that having metal in your vagina area is not a good thing so i took it out and like the comfort stuff for example i noticed when i'll be in play places that's like high adrenaline like the airport and stuff i start bleeding randomly i remember one time was i going to spain or something and then i started bleeding at the airport and then i called the hospital and the hospital said to me oh um the hospital said to me that um you need to take the coil out it's normal so eventually i got the coil removed and it's not as bad i would say as before but i would say it's a place it's a thing where it affects me a bit more than the average woman so you know people women with endometriosis experience excruciating pain like i would say like an average period pain would be 50 percent, but someone with endometriosis will experience an 80 percent amount of pain so um i'd have to take stronger painkillers hot water bottle which i can't because i every time i use it i burn my back so i so this condition still has like it's painful factors but it has eased up the intercourse type practical i don't want to talk about personal stuff but it does it has helped a little bit but it doesn't never go away so that pain is still there you know the imbalance of the hormones are still there so i had an operation and i'm someone that goes through this and any woman that knows about endometriosis knows how painful it is uh, some women don't know about it and a lot of men do not know about it but it's not taken as serious but it is as serious as a cancer because if not treated it can turn into a cancerous cell and it can also affect pregnancy so it's very serious and one thing is if it's not treated by your gp you can actually sue them and take them to court because it is a very serious thing so it does affect like my back my upper back my lower back and sometimes i find like breast tenderness slower back and stomach pain feeling like weak muscles you know um just my legs being tired gaining a lot of weight because the, just the pain of going through that whole cycle where it takes a lot of energy from me. I'm not able to like do exercise where I can feel like, okay, I have enough time because it's like one week of pain, one week of pain. So it's like two weeks in a month. I feel like, ah, why am I suffering like this? But anyone who has endometriosis, please let me know how you take care of this, what you do for this, because I also want to know. And if you want me to make more educational videos about endometriosis and women's health, please let me know. Thank you very much.